field, I feel like I'm a competitor, just intense. People are talented but don't work hard. It's Joey Blunt bringing down back there midfield. I know in myself and my heart that I'm one of the best safeties in this class, if not the best safety. When my opportunity comes, I'm going to make that known. This is from senior year, and I was a team captain for my high school team. I was actually the offensive MVP that year. I played quarterback. I had to do what I had to do. I played both sides, so I can do it all. My game ceiling interception ball from the Hula Bowl. So I got put in front of a lot of scouts, and I think this is one of the momentum changes that helped me get to where I'm at today. Super Bowl ring is what my next step is for sure. The son of a former NFL safety, the pedigree of Virginia safety Joey Blunt has prepared him for the biggest moment of his career the NFL draft. My dad was coaching me as well, so someone who looked up to their dad from a young age, I wanted to be in his world as much as I could be. I wanted him to be in my world as much as he could be as well. So football seemed to be like the best place for both of us to be together. From the first day that Joey was a freshman um, here, he was a starter. While he had physical abilities, um, it was his mental IQ for the game that really just set him apart and got him on the field early. And then once his body caught up, he was something dangerous. Blunt was a standout at Landmark Christian School in Fairburn, Georgia, where he played both quarterback and safety. After a successful four years, he committed to the University of Virginia. Talk a little bit more in depth about that recruiting process. So what really benefited me in my recruiting process um, was me joining the Cam Newton 707 team. So guys I play with, uh, running back right now for Seahawks, DJ Dallas. Actually in this upcoming draft, Malik Willis, um, I'm good friends with him. I actually visited Auburn. Cam Newton put a word in for me with the school and they actually invited me down for a visit. I had though got my first offer from Virginia that spring of my junior year. I remember when um, the day he got his Virginia offer and um, man, it was just like, it was Christmas. It was just the right fit for Joey and obviously his dad playing there. That one is going to be intercepted. A flag down on the play, Joey Brown picks it off. He gets another one, his second of the ball game and an interception and the Cavaliers get it back. The takeaway for Virginia. And then Joey Brown just watches the eyes of Kenny Pickett. Joey Blunt dominated at Virginia, finishing his collegiate career with over 300 tackles, five and a half sacks, and nine interceptions. You've been having a few visits with some NFL teams. Can you name those teams that you had visits with? I met with the Ravens. I worked out for them. That went really well. Then I got a visit Steelers. I had a top 30 visit there. I love what they have going on up there. Funny story about Mike Tomlin, I, I told him this when I saw him, but 2019, we had a game versus Pitt. We're in a team hotel, and I saw, we saw Mike Tomlin walking out the hotel. I guess it was some Steelers thing they were doing, but my best friend's dad at the time ran up to him, started talking to him, and we were all embarrassed, you know, Mike Tomlin. All of a sudden, we see my friend's dad wave us over, and we all go over there, and we start talking to him, telling him we're from UVA, we're playing pit. And we took a picture, and I told him that I will be in the draft within the next two or three years. And when I went and visited Pittsburgh, I pulled up that same picture, and I showed him, and I asked him, do you remember me? Do you remember where we first met? And he didn't. And I showed him the picture, and he was like, I love that, that you're true to your word. I was like, I promise you I'd be here, and I'm here. Following his time at Virginia, Blunt now has his eyes set on training for the NFL Draft. Joey and I spent almost three and a half hours on the board talking various concepts uh, and coverages. Uh, in the National Football League, 
And I walked away feeling really confident that Joey can come in and, and grasp anybody's system. After not receiving an invite to the NFL Combine, he impresses the scouts at Virginia's Pro Day. 4.38, 40-yard dash. We just got eight. The scouts are saying 4.38. 38-inch vertical. 38. 10-7 broad jump, 20 reps on the bench press. Oh, 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 oh. These numbers are competing with the best safeties in the draft this year. Do you feel like you deserve to be in that conversation? Oh, absolutely. I know that I'm an NFL caliber player. I know I should be one of the best safeties in this class. When I'm on the field, I'm someone you need to have on the field. That If I'm not on the field, then there's a presence missing. It is what it is. Clout has its clout. You know, I'm not really tripping on the fame or trying to be the best or my name out there. But when the opportunity comes, people are going to realize. With the draft approaching, Joey Blunt is ready to make his mark in the NFL. I play with my body. I play free. I'm not scared of contact. Man. Joey's having some kind of day here. Wilson trying to buy a little time. That's going to come up short near the 15 to Everson. Why should Joey Blunt be a starting safety in the NFL? 50 games of experience, 300 tackles. I have quarterback and safety background. I'm everything you look for in a safety. I'm versatile. I'm a ball hawk. I make tackles. I'm everywhere on the field, I'm sideline to sideline. And you're gonna have someone who can contribute day one as a starter or any spot you want him to play. Um, I know it's a long journey, but I'm ready for that journey. And having me on your team is gonna make you one step closer to the Super Bowl.